Hey guys, Dale here with FlyRC. I want to go over today with you guys how to choose electronics for your uh, for your planes. So I'm going to cover battery C ratings, uh, how to pair up an ESC in a motor, and then finally how to pair up a prop onto that onto that battery ESC motor combination. So first off, I'm going to go over the battery C ratings. Then I'll go over the motor ESC, and then I'll finally add the add the prop on last. So uh, first off. Battery C ratings. This is a 2200 Zippy uh, four cell. The C rating on it is 25 C. So what that C rating is, guys, you take the 25, you times it by your rating on your battery, and that will give you the max current output of the battery that it can withstand without damaging the intern, without causing permanent damage. So whether that's loss of this, maybe this 2200 actually becomes 2150 or 2100 or 1800. Um, you don't want to be overstressing your batteries. You want to keep them cool, uh, you know, keep them well within their, their current ranges. I, uh, so if you're going to do the calculation on this, take 2200 times about 25, you're up there around, uh, around 60 amps, uh, in between 55 and 60. So, I run this on a 30 amp ESC, so I'm well within my ranges. Uh, this is going to be nice and cool when I'm done. Uh, maybe a little bit warm. Warm isn't what you're worried about, guys. It's hot. Hot is bad. Heat and electronics do not mix. So keep your batteries cool. Oversize your batteries. Buy the higher C ratings. Don't just go bare bones. Uh, I know it's a couple bucks more, but you're going to save yourself money because you're not going to be toasting batteries. So that's C ratings on batteries, guys. So. Hopefully that answered some questions for you. Next up, I'm going to be talk about the motor and the ESC and how those are paired. So the way your motor and ESC work is your speed controller supplies current to your motor, which draw and voltage to your motor, which turns your motor. So that being said, your motor has a max current rating. You never want your ESC. Uh, to be lower than that max current rating because your motor is possible is 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 has the ability to pull that much current so if your ESC cannot give it that much current your ESC is gonna gonna die uh, gonna burn up uh, explode whatever caps are gonna explode whatever uh, not violent violent explosion but you're gonna explode some uh, parts on there so you guys want to make sure that your ESC is always bigger than your motor every time uh, Matching them perfectly, not recommended. Uh, always go bigger. This is a effectively of a 20 amp uh, motor, a max current. I'm running a 30 amp e ESC. Um, so that's how you guys want to pair those, pair those two up. Always go bigger than your motor. And the way to find that out, guys, what your max current is, if it doesn't say um, on the website, on the motor specs or whatever, you, but it does give you a power rating, then you can figure it out. Uh, it'll give you whatever um, voltage this motor can run at. This is a this is a two to or any two to four cell. I run four cell on it, so I'm running 14.8 volts. It's a 265 watt motor, so I know that. And now, so I want to find my current rating. I take 265 watts divided by my voltage, 14.8, and that'll give me my current, which is 17.9 amps for this motor. So uh, full out running at 265 watts this thing will draw 17.9 so I am well within my limit with my 30 amp ESC that's not an issue my ESC is going to run nice and cool not a problem okay so guys what's going to get you guys, what could get you guys in, tr in trouble with this is now you're throwing on a prop that's not recommended on the website or there's no information on this motor they don't tell you what prop to use and you want to know what prop to use so you just slap on any old prop and all of a sudden your motor burns out well, what that is is your prop, what happens is your motor is going to try and swing your prop. If your prop is grabbing too much air, it's going to load down your motor. Your motor is then going to try and keep spinning at that same speed, which means it needs more power, which means more uh, current. Because it's still at 14.8 volts, but you're, now your power is going up. It wants to keep swinging at the same speed. So your, your current goes up higher than the maximum rating of your motor, and your motor burns. So you guys need to invest in a watt meter, throw a watt meter in between your ESC and your battery, that's where it goes. If you have an iffy prop that you don't know what it's going to do to your motor, throw your prop on there, spin it up. If your current goes higher than, your, than you calculated, or if, sorry, if your power goes higher than you calculated, 
or than, than what the specs say. Uh, turn off right away because you're going to start burning stuff out. So uh, make sure you guys are putting the proper props on with your setup uh, to achieve as close to the maximum watt, watt rating of your motor because that's going to give you the most thrust. Uh, which will give you uh, the best bang for your buck. Um, although you are going to chew up your battery battery faster, but if you can have a bigger battery because you have more thrust, then you're fine because then you still get the same amount of flight time and you're going faster. So uh, hopefully that cleared up a bunch of stuff for you guys. And uh, yeah, so if you guys have any questions, uh, please feel free to post in the comments. Uh, I read them all, so yeah, uh, thanks guys for tuning in again, hopefully this cleared up a lot of, a lot of your questions, and uh, yeah, guys, uh, go build your planes, go fly your planes, go crash your planes, and uh, build them all over again. So, uh, thanks guys, I'll see you later.